Okay, and we are reaching the concluding part, uh, the conclu concluding part of the Hong Kong uh, Greek Gastronomy and Diet Festival. Uh, you see me back in this uh, in the studio with all the products that have been sent to us uh, from Greece that we are going to enjoy when the local conditions allow us, and we will have the opportunity to try the Nisus beer, the wines from the northern part of Greece. Um, the olive oils from Kalamata and Mani region and all the other products. Um, before I ask uh, our colleagues to conclude, I would like to say a few thank you, obviously to all our speakers, but mainly to our Dean, Professor Kei Chong, who actually uh, 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 encouraged this initiative and enabled us to bring things forward. And I've got um, some colleagues uh, who I really want to thank because they've made that a reality. Uh, my hero is Katsuto Sandife, who is not here. He's teaching currently, and he's the chairman of the uh, Food and Wine Academy. And then the second hero is Bridget, Bridget Yao. Uh, I'd like her to come on, on the screen. Uh, and Bridget has been doing all the designs and everything, uh, and she's been working with me, uh, and she's got an incredible eye for fantastic details, and she's been helping me. Um, to bring things forward. And then we've got Henry Ho, who is our uh, technology person who has been uh, working all day on the studio. Thank you very much, guys. And this is my uh, local um, uh, colleagues from uh, that have been helping us with um, Seth Simon, uh, that today and yesterday, uh, she led all the uh, cooking of the of the Greek food, and and uh, you'll see on the different media uh, people trying to learn the word uh, the word uh, in Greek. It's quite funny to have Chinese uh, students trying to say kolokithakeftedes. And then uh, Jonathan Sutton, who has been supporting us uh, with with the uh, development of the videos that you'll be seeing as they are coming up. So thank you very much to all. And also the Greek team uh, from digital events, uh, Kostas Kontos. Uh, Kosta, open your camera for a minute. And Sotiris Varelas and Lina Petrianou, they've been incredible in helping us to, to deliver this conference. And they are my team in Greece that we are always uh, delivering nice conference to them. Um, and those of you who are in Greece and you'd like some support in technical uh, 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 events, please talk to digital events. Okay, um, let me start with my colleagues then to ask what do they get out of the day? Um, what do they get out of the Greek Astronomy Festival from where we started? And what they would like to see in the next uh, few months that I'll be around and will be using some of this nice material on tastings and workshops. Uh, let me start with our Dean, Professor Kei Chon. Okay, thank you very much, Dimitris. Uh, first of all, I want to also uh, acknowledge all the hard work that uh, colleagues have done, especially with uh, Dimitris' uh, uh, initiative in starting this uh, Greek gastronomy and diet conference. Uh, with your enthusiasm and leadership, this uh, event has come to a full uh, uh, event. It was very successful. Uh, I've been listening to all these presentations starting from two o'clock until now. And I was very deeply impressed with uh, the range and quality of speakers in all these panels. And I wish, uh, my only wish is that we can do this, you know, more, you know, you know in-person uh, panel in the future. So maybe this is a good beginning and we can do uh, something like that in the future, combined with some practices and also some academic uh, papers, uh, presentations. So uh, our school will be very uh, interested in pursuing uh, such an event in the future when the situation allows. Uh, <clears throat> I want to thank uh, Dimitris and also the Consul General Kalutas in Hong Kong, who has been uh, very supportive. And of course, all the sponsors in Hong Kong and also in Greece, of course. and. Uh, this event would not have been possible without the support of many dedicated colleagues. Uh, Dimitris mentioned uh, uh, Kasuto, who was actually acting coordinator for Food and Wine Academy 
when uh, Paul was on sabbatical leave. Uh, but he has been very supportive leading uh, this event, despite some challenges with the uh, current uh, pandemic. And I saw uh, uh, Kasuto and Simon and Tak working in the kitchen at the moment when I went down to check how the, the final year FMB class was going on. So they have been all working very hard. And so I want to thank uh, Brigitte and also Henry, all other colleagues, and also panelists who served today, uh, who have done such a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Colleagues, who would like to say uh, any word from what we hear today and how we can take things forward? Jonathan, Kathy, Pearl, Kayan. Okay, probably I will say a few, a few words. And uh, yeah, uh, also uh, I've sat through all the sessions today and uh, through uh, different presentations, uh, uh, I'm sure not only myself, but others uh, have learned a lot of uh, Greek uh, gastronomy uh, and diet, wine and beer and cheese and um, dairy products. And in the past, actually, we heard a lot about the uh, Greek, uh, you know, uh, wine and beer and uh, uh, other type of products. But we actually seldom uh, uh, taste uh, these uh, products unless we travel to, uh, to Greece. So today, actually, it is a finale of shows of uh, Greek uh, the gastronomy culture. And um, I'm sure in the future, uh, this will make an uh, important impact in Hong Kong, but also other parts of, uh, of the world, especially in Asia, uh, in terms of introducing great uh, uh, food and beverage uh, into this uh, region. Actually, I already started to uh, uh, enjoy Greek wines. In the past, I seldom drinking Greek wines unless I was traveling in, in, in Greece. But now actually I already started to acquire Greek wines and drink Greek wines. And from today, I'm going to uh, actually consume Greek beer because uh, this is the first time we will learn about the Greek beer. That has an uh, advantage uh, over other beers. So, so that's uh, fantastic for not only for uh, myself individually, but I'm sure for others as well. So congratulations, uh, uh, Dimitris, for organizing this event. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Haiyan. Kathy, would you like to say a word? Sure. <clears throat> um, I learned a lot today. I have to say that in my previous visits to Greece, to the different islands and cities, uh, usually the main attractions are history and heritage and uh, sceneries and beautiful waters and, you know, weather. Um, gastronomy, I guess, did not pop up in, in, I don't know why. And I really don't know why. Now I question why. <laughs> uh, because you, you have so much to offer. And Mediterranean diet has been very popular for the past decades, maybe at least two or three decades. But I think Greece can actually own that. I understand there are many Mediterranean countries and destinations, but when you think of Mediterranean, really you think of Greece. So uh, I hope moving forward, uh, we can participate and we can help the Greece to actually own that title so that um, all the wonderful things that we learned today can be you know, um, communicated to more, more uh, tourists and obviously, uh, hopefully future tourists going to Greece, not only look at the history, the, the heritage and all that, those are great, but gastronomy should also be one of the highlights. Thank you very much. Dilap, you like a word? Yes, thank you, Professor Buhas. Yes, uh, today I do learn a lot. And one thing that I can feel from the panelists is their passion. Without their passion, I think um, we, can, we cannot see such a great items, product from them. And I think um, no matter the producer, the marketer, or even scientists, they are passionate on promoting Greek product in their own uh, specialists. So I think uh, I really need, we need to thank uh, them. And also I, I want to thank you, uh, Professor Heis, for organizing this event. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So Pearl, I'm just going through the screen as I'm going through the screen. Pearl, 
Yes, uh, thank you so much, Professor Bahalis, uh, for this wonderful uh, Greek astronomy and diet festival. And it has been a really great journey uh, for me to learn so many things about Greek astronomy. And one of the things to take away today, I think, was something I feel really amazing was uh, halloumi cheese you can serve with a piece of watermelon. It's a very interesting thing. So anyway, there are many, many things to discover about Greek astronomy. And I do hope uh, later on when the situation is allowed and then we can organize more uh, similar uh, activity. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the important thing is to take you all back to Greece, guys, so you can, you can taste everything locally. Jonathan, you were with me with all the videos that were produced with the with with the Greek chef, so you have got the inside of the of the Greek chefs plus the day today. Um, a word from you? Um, yeah, I just like to say, I guess from a Hong Kong perspective, um, I know our food delivery platforms like Deliveroo and Food Panda um, have been looking at Lebanese food as being the cool, trendy food, um, and I think now it's tipping now into the Greek favor. So it's well timed this conference, um, and I'm sure that a lot of the stuff which has been said and mentioned here uh, will be very useful as well. So I'd like to thank all the panelists because I think it's really, really uh, inspiring and interesting stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dean, the last word. Thank you. Uh, you need to unmute. Thank you very much. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, I share the same uh, sentiment. Uh, when uh, we tend to think about Greece, we immediately think about tourism, history, culture, religion, uh, language, and so on and so forth. But rarely it came to our mind. It's about gastronomy and wine. But uh, we kind of felt that this is a hidden treasure we have uncovered, or it was uh, enlightening to us. I'm sure this is sentiment by many people, especially in our part of the world. So from that point of view, it was uh, very educational. Secondly, this has been another very good model of collaboration between our Food and Wine Academy and then Foreign Council General's office. And uh, we are very grateful to uh, Greek consulate uh, uh, for supporting this event. So this is setting a new kind of uh, momentum for such collaboration in the future. And I hope uh, uh, our frontier of this collaboration will continue to expand. As you know, our school has a very ambitious plan to work with uh, one company in Greece to extend our educational programs in Greece. So this will be very, uh, appropriate time for us to have this kind of event. So I want to thank everybody for your support and participation. Thank you very much. Thank you and good night. Good night. Bye-bye.